what's up it's me erin back at you again with another video so for today's video what we're going to be doing is recreating um outfits that i have seen on pinterest which are kind of like autumn inspired um so yeah but before we get on into it if you could please follow on my social medias they will be linked in the description box down below particularly my instagram and my tiktok i'm on them all the time don't always post but i'm on them um <laughs> so yeah Without further ado, let's just get on into the video. Okay, so for outfit number one, we have this one here. Um, so it's basically like a kind of ribbed midi dress um, with some brown kind of like croc print boots, I would say, and then a little bag to match. I do not have boots like that. Um, so I've gone with these ones here. I think, oops, I've fallen. <laughs> They're from Ego Official, but like, a lot of years ago now and I've just got this little bag from River Island it kind of has the same style as hers with the bit that drapes down and you can also use the little chain as a handle um, and then this dress here is from Primark I can't remember how much it was but I think it was quite it was very cheap for what it is um I've never worn dresses like this like I don't own anything like this until I got this dress um but I actually think it's really flattering and um, it's nice and comfortable um and yeah you can kind of rush it as well kind of around your belly if you're not too comfortable i got a size eight in it which is a little bit like big which is why i can do that but also at the same time totally fine um so yeah that is the first outfit um i really really like this dress um and if they have more colors in primark i will definitely be picking it up in a few more um because i was genuinely looking for a style like this for a while um just to see if it, I could push myself out of my comfort zone and try it out and I really do enjoy it. So yeah, this is the first outfit for you guys. Okay, next up we have this outfit here. Um, so it's a lot more of a casual vibe this time. Um, just basic joggers, a jacket, um, and then a basic white crop t-shirt um, or like sleeveless kind of top. I know she's got on a gold chain, so I've just stuck on a gold chain um, just for the outfit. And I don't have a plain white Air Force. So I was like, I could put on my ones with like a green or the orange tick, but I just went with my trusty old Fila's um, because they're like the plain white, still kind of you're getting that chunky trainer vibe. Um, and I think she's rolled up her joggers a few times at the bottom. So that's what I've done too. Um, so yeah, that is this outfit. This jacket is from H&M from last year, I believe, or the year, no, the year before last, it must be now. Maybe, I can't remember. <laughs> Time's gone all funny since the world went into lockdown um this is a basic like kind of bodysuit from zara i've just tucked it under um but you can get like basic crop tops anywhere so that's fine these joggers are from uh misguided they are the jlxmg they're from one of like i don't think that drop but like when she did an edit with them that kind of sports edit that's where these are from um and then went over the shoes already so yeah, this necklace is from Topshop, but I'm sure you can get a gold chain literally anywhere pretty much as well. So yeah, a lot more chilled vibes. And then this bag is quite clearly Adidas, so yeah. Okay guys, up next we have this all black ensemble um, from this photo here and we're creating it. Um, so yeah, these sunglasses are from Tesco. These earrings are from Primark. Um, then this dress is Zara, blazer is pretty little thing, and then just tights from Primark, and then I have my Doc Martin Jaden boots on. This bag is from Topshop. It's kind of the closest thing I could find to what she was um, holding, what kind of bag she had. Um, so I've just, like in the try-on clip, kind of twisted the strap and held it. Um, but yeah, so obviously her dress is a little bit of a more high neck, her blazer is a bit more structured. Um, but yeah, so she popped her, she had her hair in a little uh, bun, I think, anyway, it looked like a bun. So that's what I've done with mine, just a bit messy, but bear with me. Um, and then she kind of just got like one little like necklace here. Um, I always have like these two on at all times now, pretty much. So I've just tucked one of them in to give the illusion, but well, it's out now. But um, <laughs> yeah, so that is this outfit. Nice and like very smart. Um, but quite edgy as well and I really like the sunglasses Um, hers have a bit of more of a brown tint um, but my brown ones are very brown so I went with all black and um, just to keep within the theme Um, but yeah I think this is a really chic looking outfit Um, and with the tights as well it kind of makes you a bit more covered up I guess uh, for the colder weather and so yeah 
Okay, next up we have a recreation of this outfit here. So you can't actually see the full outfit in this one. Um, so for shoes, I've just kind of gone with what I was thinking and put on my chunky Converse because I really like them. They're super comfy. Um, so yeah, this trench coat is from Boohoo. It has got a little like belt a bit here and it's kind of like two-toned as you can see. Um, so it's kind of like the opposite on either side. This t-shirt is just a plain white Nike t-shirt. And then I've got my Motel Rocks parallel jeans on, but you'll see them better in the try-on clip. Um, so yeah, like a nice basic outfit, but it's actually really elevated in style. Oh, this bag's from Zara, by the way. Um, because of the trench coat, like it really makes styles up and makes it a lot nicer. Um, I only recently got this trench coat, so you actually probably still will be able to get it, fingers crossed. Um, it is really nice. It's very lightweight. It's a little bit thin, but it's actually a really nice coat. Um, I was struggling to find one, so I was like, I'd ordered about like four different trench coats at separate times, trying to figure out like find the right one. Um, and this is the first one I actually liked properly. Like, so this is why I've got this one on, um, and it's the only trench coat I own now. So the first, maybe no, probably won't get another one. I don't know. Um, the the leather ones, like the full leather ones, are quite cool though. So. Mm. <laughs> but yeah so yeah it's like a, a chilled outfit but it's also quite elevated because you've got like the chain in the bag which makes it look a bit nicer you've got the, the Floyd long trench coat on whereas if I was to take these parts off and just put it with the outfit it would be a lot more chilled so yeah that is this outfit okay so next up we have this outfit here um I don't actually have a jumper dress I don't so I've just gone with purely the shacket um, I would probably normally wear a dress or some like some shorts or something underneath it, but I've not just for the sake of the video because I can't be bothered. <laughs> but you still get the look of the outfit. Um, so she's just kind of got like this black bag. So I've just kind of put on a black bag. And then um, she's also got the key piece of the outfit, her like khaki kind of welly. Wellington boots. Um, I absolutely love this trend. Um, I tried to get it on it. Like I hated it um, even last like autumn winter when it came around but I'm absolutely loving it this time around so yay <laughs> well not from a bank account yay but for the fashion yay <laughs> so yeah that is an outfit it's very uh smart um and like it kind of does have that kind of autumn winter vibe but like you're still like you're still wearing a dress essentially um and because the boots come up quite high um you've not got as much like skin exposed and stuff um, so it is really really smart i absolutely love the shacket kind of trend as a dress with the kind of the boot style and i think like the kind of creamy beigey tones and the khaki really pair really nicely together um so yeah that is this outfit oh i meant to say uh bag top shop shacket stradivarius i want to say and then the shoes are from asos okay and then the last outfit we have is this one here um so my trousers well my jeans that are like this are more wide leg um so there is obviously and i don't have like the high top white converse so um i've gone with these ones from zara they've been on my channel many a time the jeans are from motel rocks the parallel ones this little brown belt oh you can't see it is from primark this top here is from zara a good few years ago now and then this coat is from i saw it first i believe Sunglasses are a pretty little thing, and then this bag is Primark. Um, I don't have a bag like that either, so I just kind of went with what I had. Um, I could have put a tote bag with it, but I either have a big black quilted one, or it's one that's like white and green, and I didn't think the white and green would tend to go properly with this. Um, so yeah, um, very very smart outfit, but also you're super comfy because you've literally got on jeans and a top. Like it's it's just slightly more elevated than your casual jeans and a t-shirt. You've got like jeans and a kind of like it's more of a top like high neck kind of soft fuzzy i really want them to bring these out again because i really want more of this top i should have got it like years ago in other colors when they had them but i'm on the hunt for them so if you know anywhere that sells them please give me a shout um but yeah i really really like this outfit and um, her sunglasses are a wee bit different as well but i thought the brown paired nicely with the tones um so yeah i actually really enjoyed doing this because um like I have all these pieces in my wardrobe and I've just not put them together. Whereas like when you've, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I just shook you. Um, when you've kind of got like inspiration to go off of, you can piece together all the outfits and stuff for, for yourself. So yeah, 
thank you so much for watching guys and um, let me know what your uh, favorite outfit was um and if you want me to do this again sometime um i'd be happy to um but yeah please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it um subscribe to my channel um, and ding the little notification bell it just lets you know when i upload a new video my uploads are a bit sporadic at the minute so you might benefit from hitting the bell um but yeah thank you so much for watching once again guys and i will see you in the next one bye